little bit of a frontier has come in. It's very cold. The wind is blowing, the sea's picked up. So it's going to be difficult to find the fish. So the group is split. We're going to see if we can find a little bit of um, either some working water in a bay or a little bit of protection from the wind. The wind wants going up into the rivers. They have a camera with them. And we're going to explore a little bit left. Find a nice place place on Google Maps, so we can go that way, and we've gone to and um, yeah, let's see if we can start with something, hopefully today goes better. Guys, 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 you won't believe the amount of effort it took to get where we are now. Google Maps, Google Earth, wrong turns. Do you have almost had a heart attack? That is close. Spoke close, yeah, fluently. But, when we got, yeah. I don't know, it's still worth it straight away. It's gorgeous. So, we're in a no-take zone. Seems nice, we're gonna fish. We're gonna fish off of little rocky ledges onto any bit of working sand. We're gonna start with paddle tailing and spoon artificials. And then we did pack a tiny bit of pink prawn for some bronze bream to make sure we bring you guys at least some content. So, bronze is ready to go. Let's go. that you can travel to that are as special as this. This is incredible. Yeah. You've got monkeys up there. And look at this freaking... Picture perfect. Oh my word. Yes, I can't hold it on. I have to go. I have to go. I have to run. I have to run. There must be a bite here. Surely. Surely there's a bite here. Okay. Yo, this just looks... Amazing! Looks an absolutely amazing, soupy water. We're a typical awesome bronze guy spot. Fishing off a rocky ledge onto a sand bank with a bit of scattered reef. The important part here is to throw towards a bit of sand. So, it's anywhere there's sand and a bit of You can see there's a lot of working white water. So, you just want to be landing in what, what Lloyd and I like to call the soupy water. So, that like sandy, bluish mix of water. No bite yet, but it looks, looks like there has to be a fish. It really does. So all you do when you find something like this, you try to breathe and not have a heart attack. <laughs> because it's so amazingly beautiful. But you look for some sand. Try not get wet because it's cold. So there's a little mushroom, we call it little mushroom sands. Out there we are through now. Don't know the area at all, so I'm trying to see where the ledges are. So I threw a bit on a ledge, just to the left of a ledge. Definitely rocks there, that's fine. I'm shaking from excitement. Choma, Choma, Choma. This is a cob heaven formation. A little bit more sand is the only thing you could ask for. Lucas Spoon, there's a bit of sand in the back. Uh, just not quite getting to with the uh, paddle tail. Yes, I'm going to So I eat the sand now for sure. So it's just slowly on the bottom. You're targeting cob, you almost want it rather too slow than too fast. 
I want to make sure that spoon is bouncing on the bottom, kicking up some sand. I'm going to try a heavier paddle tail. I'm going to try a two ounce paddle tail next as well. Because it feels like, as soon as you're off that sand, it's very deep. So it feels like you have like one, two wines in the zone and then it's. Then you're out of it, so just need to get the pattern. It's like I, I know there's a fish here, guys. That's that's how confident I am. I know there's a fish here. Just need to find out what's gonna work to convince them to eat the lure. That's what I need to do, and that's what I'm trying to. Bronson, I think, has switched over to bait. And he's fishing on the right. Devon's on the left. And I'm slapping in the middle here. And we can't raise a bite. And I really don't know why. Because to me, this looks amazing. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. I wonder if the low tide I'll be able to stand on the rock that I'm almost throwing towards. A lot of soupy sandy water behind it. Throwing quite close to it but I'm washing almost out of the zone. I'm definitely taking a bit of a risk. With my paddle tail. Gotta risk it to get the biscuit, Chinas! Gotta risk it to get the biscuit! But that's where I was standing throwing past this rock and there was sand. So I'm going to walk along this rock and throw almost real parallel to the sand. It's probably going to be very rocky but hopefully it's worth it. Oh yes in the front guys! <laughs> I got picked up right in the front by a shad. Yeah it's a shad yeah. Yeah, It's quite a feisty little bugger. Not what I... Uh, <laughs> not what we're after, but we'll take, at this moment, anything, so... <laughs> not one of the fish we're after, but <laughs> better than other. Alright, so we got... We'll double up here quite quickly. Got a... We three fishies that gave us a bite at least. shop in BC in BC yes mali mama in mali mangap in BC oh you right you right so so gena apa ne what's ma no oh this is shop all this is a good one. This is a good So it's absolutely worth 
spending your money and your time taking your annual leave 21 days coming one <laughs> shot 21 <laughs> coming to the trans sky it's just absolutely absolutely bliss bring your family bring your oma and opa and enjoy it you deserve it come with Duva. <laughs> come with Duva. <laughs> i heard he's going to do a massive this guy so because it's surf uh, fishing has been so slow um, we've decided to come to the river. Tide's going to turn now and we can fish off a nice drop off here in the river. Uh, that Lloyd spotted, Lloyd and Ruan spotted this morning in the little session that they had. So we're going to do a little bit of drop shotting, looking for Garrick, maybe a Cobby, and so forth in the river. So stick with us, stay tuned, and hope you guys enjoy. Tell us where we're going. We're going to the best mouth formation on the Transkai River I've ever seen. Best drop in. <laughs> For the push of the tide, eh? Yeah. Best, best move. Yeah. Just this walk is freaking enjoyable, guys. Tons of oysters, eh? Is excited, Ruan? I just buy excited. Are you hooked now after your session this morning? River fishing. Uh, Just tell I, the viewers I, that uh, the river is something they should explore. It's fun. Yeah, definitely. Like I haven't fished the river at all. Like obviously when I was little, with like I think everyone done it has done it before, missing around with prawn and uh, worm or whatever. But this is something totally different, and you actually start to understand how the, the river works and and how it operates and what fish you can actually catch with whatever lure. And that's what's amazing. Because just any small difference that you do in your retrieve can make a big difference in what you catch. You can either get a bite, um, you get bites the whole day, or you can't get a bite at all. So, so yeah, I enjoy it a lot. Um, I've learned a lot, obviously. Um, and it's all try. It. Yeah, there's a lot more to learn. Uh, jerk went on with a 3-8 ounce sinker a little lead head. it's very pretty yeah boy got a little garrick and Jock got a little black tip kingy and our cameraman is gone all over the show yeah except come to us shame poor guy check it check 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 it diamond ray did you see the diamond ray No, you lie. <laughs> big one. Jeez, I just saw a diamond ray, guys. This is freaking beautiful. Oi. Missed a little bumpy there. Walk all along this bank here to that little drop off there, then fish along that side and left there. So you get a lot of bites. Okay. So I got the king earlier, but small client got a king yesterday or two days ago there. So, but they were fishing from, from here though and casting as far as they could. So that's okay. why I walked out there. I got three bites there earlier, but I'm gonna go around that side. Yeah. Um. Jock suggested I go to the right. Sorry, Jock, I'm going against you. It's because I want to fish with Lloyd. No, I'm joking. It's just for the camera, actually. I'm looking straight into the sun there, so. Yeah, pretty cool that we checked the diamond ray right here. Quite a big fish, looked like a 40 kilo diamond ray. Right against the side, yeah. So, I mean, anything can happen, yeah. That was fun. Who was he? Trail walk. Yeah, the fucking is quicksand, eh? <laughs> My foot is gone into our fucks, not a full fucking flock, dude, honey. We're working all along a big drop off here. Um, you'll see in the drone shot. Fishing into nice deep water, and this is the only channel, and this runs all the way into the surf section. So, everything's gonna be in this channel that we're fishing across, waiting for fish to come in or come come out back towards the mouth so we're fishing for uh, these kingies here black tip kingies these gts there's the big eyes 
uh, there's Garrick, there's Cobb, there's Bull Sharks. <laughs> um, so, so far the tally is a uh, Garrick, a Cobb, and one Black Tip Kingy. So, yeah, at the moment I'm working a shiver stick on the bottom, nice and slow. You see two, three twitches, and then I'll let it sink. Two, three twitches, let it sink. But yeah, it's very fun. Something a bit different. The surf is dead. The conditions are all against us. It's, it's big surges, 20 second wave period. Um, no conditions. It's been ice cold. So come to the river, do something different. Fish a little bit out of your comfort zone of that's encouraging you guys to do. Not that I'm very good in the river, but it's very fun. It's enjoyable, it's peaceful, it's ridiculously beautiful. Anyway, I don't want to babble too much. Sorry, let me carry on with my fishing uh, and let the one do his thing. What is this around? In his zone, boys. In his zone. Oh, the fish must just eat my back there. Nasty. No, it's rock. Oh, okay. it's unusual. It's it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I thought uh, I think it's a stump fish. He's not fighting back, but he doesn't need to. This is, it's ridiculous how strong this 15 pound is. Hey? You'll never pull a fish like this. Like in your life. You always, and then you get scared, you get stripped. But I mean, imagine you actually had to do this. Oh, it's dear one. Hey, this thing's fighting back, bro. This thing's fighting back, guys. <laughs> I think I must have hooked a diamond, guys. I think it must be a diamond. Yeah. Yeah, there's a two wines in. We say that, but it's going to be a cob. No, it must be a diamond. I can feel the wings. Don't joke. I'll, I'll f in my pants. This thing's fighting back, guys. I thought. Guys, no one's taking me seriously. Everyone thinks it's a diamond. Imagine <laughs> it turns out to be a cob. He's like it. Look at the bend of this rod, guys. Shows you how much pressure you put on these infinities. 15 pound ultra tech. Yes, now this fish is stuffing me up. Yeah, now it's stuffing me up. Feeling more and more like a diamond though. If I look at the way my line's moving. Not that we had any doubt. Devan, go to the middle of the river, Devan. You can see it on the surface. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> At least we're gonna have pretty cool footage of it, but I'd like to carry on fishing, Mr. Diamond Ray. But now we do have confirmation, so I'm gonna push this 15 pound to its max. Oh, shit. Right, okay. Okay, well, let's game over. Sorry, Ruan. Is my was groot daar. Ja. Ja, potent green bucktail, yeah. Feels like a small cobby. Took off quite nicely. I'm sure it's a small one. Let's see. So beautiful. Had a nice run, but it's a small one. There we go. Look over to the side. Nice copy. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man. Oei, that's, that's mooi as stampen. Huh? Yeah. On you again, guys. My little pink bucktail. So much fun, eh? It's made my park here geslat in the run, hoor. Hey? It's made my park here geslat for ek. Ja. Elke keer op die drop, ne? It's elke dis rarig elke keer op die drop. Oh, it is a bit better. Yeah, it's definitely better, hoor. Hoor jy, Devan? Okay, we got a double up here, me and Devan. Yo, oh, die ookie is daarom so 2.5 ou. Oh. Check it out. Yo, Lloyd! Lovely Kobe. Oh, here we go. Yes, do one. Check it, doofs. Double up. Lekker, Chuma. <laughs> Lekker, brother. Beautiful double up here, guys. Here we go. Check it out. Huh? Lekker, we can do the field. Next in the sea, any? Nothing in the sea, but some fun, yeah. I got a probably oh, a beautiful. kiss. Woo! Mwah mwah. <laughs> Only bucktail in. Okay, so with this cob, it's very important to keep your hands wet. So I'm going to take a nice photo now. After a little video, I quickly brought it to the water, kept it nice and wet. Take a photo for us, and yeah, put it back. <laughs> How's the fishing experience here? Well, you you can't really fault the weather, can you? It's absolutely amazing. And we managed to um, find a shoal of small cob that came into the estuary, which is always fun in this light tackle. Showing little bucktails and drop shots. Oh, there was a bite as I'm speaking. <laughs> Literally right there, Jack. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so can't complain, eh? Good friends, amazing place, beautiful weather. What more can a man want? Oh, another nice cob. Just uh, actually saw some fish, some little bait fish getting chased on the surface, and um, threw the bucktail there, worked it, let it drift down with the current, and as it was falling, just felt the cob smash it. Yeah, nice little fish, eh? Not Dubin size, but slightly better. Phew. 
Beautiful. Had a nice little first run and then. Typical head shake, look at that. Hooked perfectly in the corner of the lip. Ah, there we go. That's a sl slightly better fish. Beautiful. Navajo River on the bucktail, 3 8 ounce with a little uh, 2 5 and a 7 foot, 10 pound braid. Check out that hook set. Perfectly in the corner there. Yes. Just like that. There we go. Check the current line coming off of this bank, guys. So they'll be wading just off of this, this little trough. A lot of mullet splashing on the other side. Just all of a sudden it feels very vibey. Feels like we're gonna get a... Roy well, got absolutely caned there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get a bike there. Come on. There's your phone. Oh! That was a GT route, telling you. It, it was, the vibrate was quick, like this. I'm sure that was a GT. It made much, that tip was vibrating. What's the chance that a bull shark here for Baisal swim? I'm going to swim. It's definitely for Canal, that's not going to be a little bit. You're going to be able to water draw. Oh, Klinky. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best to work. Poacher to cop. I can have a good one. Ciao, Quarita. So, just hooked one on the pedal tail. All, um, yeah, it doesn't take too hard, but it feels like a small cup. Oh, just as the sun is setting. Classic. Let's see. Hey! Oh, so say. Yeah, it's a plain cup with legs, huh? What's it? Plain cup. Yeah. So don't get out. Better size nice too. Oh, that Look at that pedal toe. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Nice scobby. <laughs> On the pedal toe. Check it out. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to go. Here we go. That was a good cobby. Um, what a good day on the river. Uh, really a nice time here in the Trans Sky. And uh, let's hope tomorrow is even better. We're going to go back home, have a nice coffee, nice supper, get some warm water over our bodies, and enjoy the night. So, yes. Okay. <laughs> we used Devon as an outro, but I said I had to sneak in another throw. <laughs> What's gonna help him foam it and not have a throw? And um, I was still sinking and I thought it felt funny. <laughs> but I am on with a little cobby. Not a big fish, but it ate so nicely. Absolutely smashed it. The session is turning into gold, eh, Lloyd? Stunning, eh? Yeah, so stunning still feels worse. Yeah, I'm worried about that. Yeah, also we're getting a little bit worried about our walk back as we cross the river. Oh, I ruined that over, I think. Where are you going, dude? Over here. Me. There we go. Now, oh, there we go. That's a nice, healthy, 
We have a cobby, look at that beautiful fin. Chow that bucktail in the evening, yeah. It's dark now officially. Yeah, probably like a Lloyd, 55, 58. Yeah, somewhere there. Nice fish. Oh, boys. There we go. Get that hook out. Like it. Yo. Okay, beautiful little cubby. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we really are gonna go home before Bushwalk chows us. Yeah.